in the Great Search. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you find things on the DigiKey site, digikey.com. Thank you so much, DigiKey, for helping out with Disk of Lady Ada. Lady Ada, what is the great search this week? All right, this week I have got my Atari video music player and uh, watched this video where this person did a mod to uh, this version has NTSC out, but I want S video out, and there's this hole here which I want, which right now I have this like cable coming out of, but I, what I want to do is find a panel mount S video connector that will fit into that hole. And, um, you know, I want to do it without modifying it. So the whole circuit right now, I didn't do any soldering. I just took some wires in and I twisted them around um, some, some contacts, the, the wire jumper. So there's no soldering been done to it. So it's like totally pristine. Uh, condition it can always be restored to its original state which I really like um, if I'm if I'm yeah. playing with hardware I feel like I should go to I should be on expert level where I don't mess with the hardware yeah I like things where it's a parasitic upgrade that doesn't it's like damage the original hardware and this is nice because it kind of just like taps into what's currently there and it doesn't um, damage the original in any way so this is like kind of like the perfect mod I truly like this and um, People really like these like pixelated visualizations, so this is just good timing yeah. as well. So cool project. So uh, we got NTSC working, but we want to use is S Video because S Video gives uh, split chroma uh, color and luma brightness, um, and when you do that, it's you know it's a little bit easier to get um, better looking video out because you don't have like the the chroma and the luma can affect each other a little bit. Um, it also depends on your decoder, but if they're split, usually you get uh, a better video quality. Uh, it's also a little bit less noisy, I found. So um, I want to get that panel mount S video connector that'll fit in, and I don't want to do any drilling or gluing or whatever. So let's go to the DigiKey side. I was looking at inclinometers. So um, S video is kind of interesting. It's uh, S video uses a uh, DIN connector. So let's go to S video DIN. So um, it uses DIN and, and DIN connectors are, you know, they're not quite dinosaurs, um, but they're definitely rarer. Like, you know, anyone who's had old Macs or even a computer with a PS2 interface, you're like, oh, I remember these kinds of connectors. Um, these connectors, they're round, they're all pretty much like the same size and they have different number of pins, but usually it was like four to eight pins. Um, and also these these cables are a little bit cursed because you know, you'd always put it in not quite right and you'd force it maybe, or somebody would force it, bend the pin, the pin would break and now the connector and the whole device is pretty much useless. So it, it's, you know, this is why people don't really use DIN anymore. Um, that said, it's the standard for S-Video. Um, so S-Video is a four pin mini DIN connector. So we were fine. So let's go to DigiKey and let's go to mini DIN to find a mini DIN connector. Uh, so this is a circular connector. You can also get cables if you wanted to get an S-Video cable. Like I said, we wanted to get a connector. Um, and already things are looking good. Yes, yeah, so you can see this has uh, eight pins, and this one has five pins. This one has six pins. This is like a this good party here, uh, and they're all totally slightly different. You can see a number of pins. So um, first up, you know, uh, of course we want to go with active, and we want to go with four. I don't know what P is, but we'll go with four uh, positions in the connector. So let's apply. Now let's look down here and make sure that we're down to four. Okay, yeah, so this looks right. This looks just like that uh, Wikipedia. So there's a couple types. You know, there's this kind of panel mount, uh, and there's PCB mount. Um, but again, we want panel mount. Usually I have not been going for panel mount stuff, but I want to be panel mount for sure. So um, let's find where panel mount is. Mounting types. Free hanging, inline, panel mount, through hole, through hole right angle. So I think... I don't exactly know what through hole right angle is, but I definitely want surface, definitely don't want free hanging or surface mount. I don't know what dash is. So let's, let's check those out. Okay, so we have a couple options here. So um, 
this kind of panel mount. So these are all, like, you know, it's interesting. There's actually quite a few options available here. Uh, so this is the, that must be the uh, through-hole right angle panel mount. So it's like, it goes into a PCB. Um, but all of these actually look really good. So they all have, you know, you can see there's a little, this kind of bulkhead style. Um, there's this kind of big chunky style. Um, all of these are good. Uh, I don't know if I really care about any other size. Oh, shell, shell size. I think that actually, oh, so some of these are XL. These are not mini dins. So I actually do want to make sure that they're mini din sized. All right, mini din, mini XLR. So let's go back and make sure that I'm actually getting, because din just means like it's a, it's the connector style. It doesn't necessarily mean the size. So let's go with mini din. All right, so now there's only eight remaining. Okay, so these are all really good. So um, there's this style and this has like two ears. You can see, hold on, there's two ears. How come it's always in the center? Hold on, yeah, okay. Move this. There you go. Um, so there's this style, which is uh, has like two ears here. Hold on. Um, and you can like screw them in. You, you do have to drill two holes in. And then let's see. There's this style also has two little ears. This is kind of a metal plate. This is probably the most stylistically close to uh, that era. Um, but the one that I ended up finding was this one. And what was nice about this connector is um, it had panel mount, but it was slim. And then, you know, you could pretty easily connect to the, the four pads on the back and the ground. So I actually did get these because I was working on this project last week. So let's go to the overhead and I'll show them. So this is the uh, metal type with metal ears. This one is actually what I thought I'd end up using with the plastic ears. I thought like, oh, maybe I'll just glue it in. What is, when, what is nice about this is it has a little pigtail, which is quite handy. Um, so like, you know, this has a, it's kind of an elegant for wiring into a board. Um, but this one, I got the, uh, the one with two plastic rings. What's nice is you can mount it either way. There's two plastic rings. You can mount from the back or from the front. And uh, you can solder, you know, wires to the back pads. And then let's go to the video music device. Um, when I got to checking out this mod, this fit in like pretty much, hold on, I have to line up the little, there's a little like notch and the notch has to line up with the, oh sorry, it goes this way. This fits in perfectly and then you can, whoops, clonk, you can screw it in from the back and I can get to these pads and this is nice and solid on the back here, um, but very easy to uh, plug it in as video connector. So this was actually a perfect, perfect fit, which is pretty sweet. All right, back to my desk before I clonk anything else. So the MD40 CV, which is actually in stock right now, is uh, my great search find, and it was the perfect part. So if you're looking for a panel mount as video connector, especially one that's like being used in a, you know, looks like about one centimeter diameter hole, yeah, this totally rocks. And if you want the actual mounting, oh, can you go to the computer again? The data sheet, it has the, um, yeah, it's a little bit more than, uh, you know, one millimeter, it's a 14, uh, millimeter, a little bit more than one centimeter, but um, all the specs are here and uh, very easy to cut a hole if you need to. 
um, or if you have an existing hole and it's around this size, you know, also the lip gives you a little bit of leeway. So, you know, it's not quite, you know, it's a little bit loose, but that's all right because um, you just use the locking nut and you just like really uh, torque it down uh, and solid, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, that's a great search.